What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about the moment cards in NBA 2K21, my team. So obviously these are completely new cards, and were initially leaked today by people going into the auction house and finding that moments was there where previously hadn't been. So, we've been kind of hoping for a lot of things in my team, and what we were hoping for honestly was that they went back to what they did last year with moments of the week. That was honestly one of the most positive things about 2K20. Like We really enjoyed Moments of the Week for the first half of the year. And then they just took it away. They just took it away. And I, I don't know what's going to happen with Moments. But what I'm going to explain a little bit about the concept of Moments cards. And what I hope is going to happen. And what I unfortunately think is going to happen. So yeah. um, Let's go and have a look at the cards. Well. What's coming in? So moments cards. As you can see, there's only two moments cards here. There is Luka Doncic and um, Nikhail and Alexander Walker. But then if you go to rewards, there is moments rewards. So there's no completion for moments rewards. So it's not like there's going to be a set amount of them. So it's not like there's going to be a lock-in reward for all these. Which, again, some people were kind of hoping for. But um, it does set kind of a good precedent that there is going to be like free... There are going to be free moments cards and things to play for, which is good. So... Now we are going to go on to the specific players. So first of all is the Jonas Valanciunas reward card. So 7 foot tall, 7 3 wingspan, 92 92, which is pretty okay. 50 intangibles, good. Okay, 83 ball is pretty good. Speed's alright, it's alright. Um, 94 strength, obviously good. Post game, good post hook and fade. Decent speed of ball, like similar speed to like a Chris Bosch. He's got not really much defense. I know Interceptor, only one half badge and post move lockdown. He's got no Interceptor, no Clams, obviously no Chase Down Artist. Doesn't get those animations, but he doesn't go Rim Tech to Gold Intimidator. Playmaking badges, the guy has none, which is a little bit annoying because like post spin technician is a pretty a pretty big badge for a post player, especially on um, if you're playing on next gen. But he's have three hot zones outside the three point line. So signature animations. Oh my god, he's got Bill Lambier upper. Okay, this is not great. So, let's actually have a look. It's a lot easier to check about what... So, we know it's Valentunas' release anyway. So, I assume I have Valentunas. Let's go gold. Is he, is he a gold center? Yeah, let's check out what Valentunas' release is actually like. Before I talk too positively or too negatively about the release. And it's weird, like, it's literally a case of moments cards coming out that are absolutely worthless. And this game already going into a, a little bit of a tough time server-wise. Okay, so he had hot zones. Funnily enough, like, he actually, if you're looking here, his normal card has a hot zone in a position that his moments card doesn't have. It's a bit of a weird one. But let's check out the release. That's not terrible. It's not good, by any means. It's not terrible. Like, if he's wide open in the corner, he'll hit a shot. It's not the fast release. It's not, by not the fast release, I mean it is a legitimately slow release. But it's not the worst release in the world. But, um, looking at drill moves, he's not going to dribble at all. He's got basically just basic big man dunks. Free throw. I don't know if that's, like, he hit free throws anyway. Um, he's going to be okay. Like... If this sets a precedent that every Thursday we are going to be getting a moments of the week challenge or a moments challenge, or it means we're getting moments agendas on a Thursday, or even for a Friday and the win the weekends are like these moments rewards. If this sets a precedent for a bunch of these cards coming out during the year, I'm fine with it. The, is Jonas Valanciunas good? No. He's straight up, he's not good. But if this sets, this can set a good precedent, and this is something I am looking forward to. Then we have got a uh, Nikhil. I is it Nikhil Alexander Walker? So unfortunately, it does not seem like 2KDB is uh, working at its to its potential right now. It's a bit iffy because of the service. But he's got four hot zones outside of three. A six-five guy can play point guard with a six-nine wingspan. Okay, 2K, you've kind of piqued my interest here. He's a two guard slash point guard. 88 three ball, 90 speed, 90 acceleration. 85 lateral, okay. The guy doesn't get range and the guy doesn't get any defensive badges. Alright, he's not good. 
I just straight up, he, he, you can just tell he's not good. It's unfortunate because he's got a lot of things going for him. Like his driving looks not great, but his all around like attributes are good. But as we all know, attributes mean do not tell the story. You can give a guy 75 in every single stat, but if you give them every single badge Hall of Fame, they're going to be better than a 99 in every stat with no Hall of Fame badges. That is just the way 2K is, and that's just the way my team is. He's got the profile behind. He's got normal one size or escape, which is not good. Base 27? He's the only person in the game with base 27. Okay, so now we got to try to figure out what this release is. Because, okay, who does he play for? That's the question. He plays for the Pelicans. I'm trying to think, do I have the card? 20 current NBA, Pelicans. I don't. And don't. These 20 current NBA cards are ridiculously expensive. I need to just sell all mine. So let's just go and buy him here. If this isn't enough... For, oh, what the hell is this guy doing at 30k? Are there, is there a moment challenge for him? There's a moment challenge for him. Hey, maybe a heat check. Maybe he's expen... He's, um... Principal heat check. No. So, yeah, we will not know what base 27 is. Because there is no chance that I'm buying this card for just that reason. But, um, yeah, he's not going to be good anyway. We might have a good version of this guy in the future if base 27 is good, but... I'm telling you, he's not, he's not it. Then we got Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic, nine half badges. What's this one's half badge count? Eight. He's actually got a better half badge count than his diamond. He's at 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 93 ball, 70 driving dunk. Decent defense, really good defense stats. Oh my God, these are good defensive stats. And they give no defensive badges. Either way, though, just throw clamps on him. Next gen, this guy's going to be a demon. Like Luka Doncic. His dribble six may say basic, 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 but I'm telling you, he gets pro one on next gen. Session 19 is a completely cruise release, but it's Luka Doncic's own release on next gen. If you are on current gen, do not even look at this card. Do not buy Luka, no matter how much of a Luka fan you are, this card is garbage. They will eventually change the release of Luka Doncic later on in the year. But for next gen, you're getting a 6-7 point guard with good, really good defensive attributes. Um, He's got a hot floor general, go quick first step, tight handles, he's got gold range extender, Catch and shoot, volume shooter, flexible release, half, difficult shots, clutch shooter, dead eye, um, 91 ball handle, which is good. So, like, again, if you are on next gen, it's really good. So, let's just have a look at this, this Luka stats. So, 2747, seven. what does this one have? 29. Hey, look at the, like, proof overall means nothing. Proof that overall means nothing. 200, plus 200 stats minus one overall. That is an entire video I'm making later today. The proof that overall means absolutely nothing in 2K. This Luca, he's not going to be bad on current on next gen. Garbage man on current gen. The worst sigs and animations in the game. The worst storm shot in the game. He is a garbage man on current gen. He's great on next gen. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what do I think of the whole moments concept? I personally believe that if it's a case of 2K releasing a bunch of moments cards and then... They release them like two or three times a week. So say we got the moments today, because both of them, all the moments cards today, both of them were based on games that were played yesterday. So if they do release moments cards the day after the game, or obviously, and then maybe a, quite a big batch of like four or five on a Monday, they release um, during the weekends, and then maybe they don't want to release them every day. It means we got Tuesday packs, we got Friday packs. Maybe they want to go three or four moments cards on a Monday, then two moments cards on a Wednesday. And then two moments cards on a Thursday. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with them doing that. Maybe sometimes having a few more moments cards. Then once a week having like a moments reward card for something that people can earn. I think that is a really good. That would be a really kind of good precedent the 2K can set. And it means not only like it means they're not over adding cards into the market. Because that can be a bit of a problem. Um, If they add say 10 cards in the market three days a week. That kind of ruins the purpose of the game. But if they constantly give like two to three moments card, if they give, if 2K, if I believe on average 2K can give out maybe eight moments cards a week, eight moments cards a week. And if they stagger it within three days, because I know for a fact they're not doing moments of the week again, because everyone just buys packs that one day and it stops after that. They want people to be buying packs constantly. So look, I'm trying to think of a situation where it both suits consumers as well as suits 2K. I think eight moments cards a week, three on a Monday, or sorry, four on a Monday, Two on a Wednesday, two on a Thursday, with one moment challenge every week. Keep your Tuesday packs, keep your Friday packs, and it keeps everybody happy. 
So yeah, that is my opinion on moments cards. These cards here, I mean, Luke is probably going to be ridiculously overpriced, but he's good. Um, Nikhil, or Alexander Walker, don't know how to pronounce the first name. Um, someone will tell me in the comment section, I won't get it wrong again. Um, he's not good at all, he's terrible. Valanchunas, not a great card. If he's easy to get, I'll probably get him. But um, yeah, I don't consider him to be the easiest or the greatest card in the world. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.